Hello my little ones, welcome back. So children, today we will be solving lesson number 2 of your workbook that is motions of the earth. So let's begin. Question number 1, fill in the blanks. Number 1, the motion of the earth around itself is called dash. Answer, rotation. Number 2, the motion of the earth around the sun is called dash. Answer, revolution. Number 3, the rotation of the earth gives rise to dash. Answer, day and night. Number 4, the axis of the earth is dash. Answer, inclined. Number 5, the earth takes dash days and dash hours to complete one revolution around the sun. Answer, 365 days and 6 hours. Number 6, from the new moon to the full moon, the moon is seen to become dash. Answer, bigger and bigger. Number 7, the dash of the axis of earth gives rise to the cycle of the seasons. Answer, inclination. Let's see the next question. Question number 2. Write whether the following statements are true or false. If false, rewrite them after correcting. Number 1. The earth rotates from east to west. Answer. False. The earth rotates from west to east. Number 2. In a leap year, there are 28 days in the month of February. Answer. False. In a leap year, there are 29 days in the month of February. Number 3. We do not see the moon in the sky on a new moon day. Answer. True. Number 4. The lighted part of the moon decreases in size and seems smaller and smaller in Shukla Paksha. Answer. False. The moon decreases in size and seems smaller and smaller in Krishna Paksha. Or, the moon increases in size and seems bigger and bigger in Shukla Paksha. Let's see the next question. Question number 3. What is meant by each of the following terms? Number 1. Full moon. When the complete and round moon is seen in the sky, it is known as full moon. Number 2. New moon. When the moon is not visible in the sky, it is known as new moon. Number 3. Lunar month. The period of 28 to 30 days from new moon day to the next new moon day is called a lunar month. Number 4. Tithi. Every day in the lunar month is called Tithi. Number 5. A leap year. The year in which there are 366 days with February having 29 days is called a leap year. Question number 4. Answer the following questions. Number 1. What is the equator? Answer. An imaginary circle present between the north and the south pole is called the equator. Question number 2. What are the two parts of the earth made by the equator? Answer. The northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere are the two parts of the earth made by the equator. Question number 3. What are the poles of the earth? Answer. The earth's axis passes through the center of the earth. The two ends of the axis are called the north and the south pole. The line connecting the two poles is called NS line. NS line thus connects the two poles. Question number 4. What is the name given to the changing shapes of the moon that we see? Answer. The changing shapes of the moon that we see are called the phases of the moon. Question number 5. What are the names of the days on which we see a round moon and on which we see no moon at all? Answer. The day on which we see a complete and round moon is called the full moon day. The day on which we cannot see the moon from the earth is called the new moon day. Question number 5. Use your brain power. Number 1. How many rotations does the earth complete during one revolution around the sun? Answer. The earth takes one complete rotation in one day. 
it takes complete 365 days and 1 14th day for one complete revolution. This means that in one revolution the earth shows 365 and 1 4th rotations. Question number 2. It is the sunrise at Itanagar in Arunachal Pradesh. Write the names of the cities in the order in which the sun will rise there. Mumbai, Maharashtra, Kolkata, West Bengal, Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, Nagpur, Maharashtra. Answer. In order which the sunrise would be seen is as follows. Number 1. Itanagar in Arunachal Pradesh. Kolkata, West Bengal. Number 3. Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. Number 4. Nagpur, Maharashtra. Number 5. Mumbai, Maharashtra. Let's see the next question. Open-ended question. What's the solution? Amit wants to take his granny to Australia, which is in the southern hemisphere. But she cannot bear very cold weather. When should they make this trip? Answer. Australia is located in southern hemisphere. During the time period of 23rd September, to 22nd March, there is summer, so Amit's granny could be taken to Australia during this period. During the period of 22nd March to 23rd September, there is winter, so she should avoid going to Australia as she cannot bear the cold weather. So children, that's the solution for lesson number 2, Motions of the Earth. Hope you like the video. So if you like the video, do subscribe to the channel, like it and share it with your friends who need it. See you soon. Till then, goodbye.